Hello everybody and welcome back to Workers and Resources. I've um <laughs> I've made sure my microphone's switched on this time. Seems I've already recorded this episode once. Um we're going to get through things a little bit quicker than I did last time. <laughs> um okay, so I'll start where I left off last time actually, which is I wonder if I can get a T junction in here. Oh look, yes I can. <laughs> I already know I can. I already did this once. Oh, I've crashed the game. <laughs> that was a good start, wasn't it? Um, I'll just restart my timer. Let's <laughs> see if we can do it again without crashing again. Yeah, we did it alright the first time. Even though I didn't have my microphone switched on. I think it was maybe just a little bit too close to that junction there then. Um, Do it back there, that's messy as anything. Oh. Man, this was a lot easier last time. Maybe if I try that side, take that side out a little bit. Want it running? There we go. <clears throat> Just wanted the uh, the gap in the in between. I don't want the tracks overlapping one another. Um, right, let's get that booked in there. I don't know where that train is going yet. Probably out to Fishergrad and then actually backing off. Um, but it depends on what I build around there. Depends on where that's going out to. Um, yeah, so the train line, I'm just trying to remember what I did at the start of this episode last time I recorded it. Um, I'm going to do a loop around the town and I'm going to have trams going around, be another stop here. There's one here I've got planned in. Um, so, and then we'll have another loop going around. I might just do a loop around the whole, I think I might do a loop around the whole city. Because we're going to have stops out by the industrial areas as well. This is getting moved, the concrete plant. So I'm going to have to... I might do cement in another town, actually. <clears throat> um, depending which way... I mean, obviously, I'm going to go and build all around here, but I'm going to be, it's going to be mostly farming around here, so... And I have to put shops and things in, so I'm going to have to buy them. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a great deal of big industry down there. I think it's all going to be mainly farmland down there. There was something I wanted to show you, actually. If I press that, and then that, and press that, <laughs> I've now got churches, cathedrals, <laughs> different sized cathedrals, got all the churches, and got all the townhouses as well, so... I can actually go and expand these towns and rebuild them and not use the um so got the customs houses as well, uh, foreign power connection. What's that one? A bit worried about clicking on some stuff. Oh that's interesting. That's um that looks smaller than the I didn't want to come over here because I flattened a lot of area out and that's why I plan there on building next. <laughs> ah, the only thing is it's not got a road connection. Yeah, there's no road or footpath connection so I can't use them if they burn down. That one's not got a road connection either. I do need to do a bit of reworking of this anyway. Um, yes, so... It only... You have to hold on to... Control B and click it, and then you get the menu. If you let go, if you let go of the B, it goes off. Right, so cheat mode is C H E altogether. I don't like using cheats, <clears throat> but I might use that one. Um, I'm definitely not going to cheat and add more money or anything like that. 
I know I've altered the education system a little bit, but that was just in trying to balance the numbers out a little bit. Um, because teachers could only teach 12 students, and it was... It, it just means having too many schools, and it's just it's just too much. It means having having a school and a kindergarten every block, and getting loads of universities in here. So the professors can teach five students instead of three, um, and I've dropped the staff down on that one as well. So they don't need as many staff. Um, same here. There's only ten staff in the schools and ten teachers, and the teachers can teach two on uh, twenty. So there's a total of 200 if it's fully staffed and fully teachers. Um, right, so yeah, so we are going to get the train on the go, but not anywhere time soon. I want to get the steel mill in. The steel mill is going to have to go up here somewhere. There's going to be iron mines up here. Coal's coming from here. Uh, and gravel's going to be coming from here. I have decided I am going to use these gravel, these, these bits after all. I'm going to put loads of quarries in and a, a stone storage there and then send it across a river via conveyor to another storage and a gravel pl processing plant here. <coughs> I'm going to put this in first. This was what I did last, last time. I did try getting it in over the other side but it was a lot of messing about and I couldn't, I couldn't get it. It was just all too messy. I was worried about traffic queuing on the road as well. Um, So, what I decided on in the end was a gravel processing plant here. I want to just sort of line up with the road there. Right, and um, so we want a bit of road coming out. Do I want that big swoop? Yeah. That just needs to be an access road. <clears throat> get that booked in. So we need a large aggregate storage here. I don't need I don't need the outputs going to anything. Um, there's going to be a large aggregate storage here. Just need to leave room for a road. <coughs> uh, conveyor belt. I don't know if I can get a conveyor belt across this river, can I? Too long. Ooh. Well, if I was to put an engine transfer there, too long. What about another one here then? I have to have one in the middle of the river. <laughs> this was something I hadn't anticipated. I counted on actually. Hmm. Let's just uh, use the raise up. Push this river out a bit. But this is still going to be too long. End up. Oh, yes. Oh, excellent. Wasn't sure whether that was going to work or not. <laughs> um, can we get a bit of a road up there somewhere? There we go. Let's get that connected up. Right, let's. Um 
get rid of this cable. This cable's in the way. I'll turn that back to the transformer. <coughs> so what I want over here is I want another engine transfer up here. So what I'm going to do is have the conveyor belts run in parallel. So we'll have coal coming in from one and gravel with the other one. But I'll, we are going to have to have big conveyor belts going everywhere. Now, just before I do that, I think I better put the road in first. Anybody think I've already done this once already? Look at me, I'm really competent. I can do things that easily without having to redo them 17 times. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have like three or four trucks running back and forward there, just taking the stone to the gravel quarry. Um, do you know if I actually just built stuff and then... Yeah, I'm thinking if I... Oh, you're not going to let me have a connection on there now. No. Oh, no connection on there. Right, so I'm going to pay for them footpaths. <laughs> now it's not in reach. That was in reach before. Why is that not in reach to there? That should be. Maybe it's because I've connected onto the dirt road. Um, try that. See, it'll reach up there. <laughs> It'll reach all the way up to there, but it won't reach from there to there. And the footpaths are right at the other end. I don't know if it'll... Maybe if I can... Get one going up here. Don't tell me I'm going to have to redo this again. Ah, no, now it can get to there. That is daft. Okay. Right. I know, it's just hideous having a big conveyor belt across the... Um, across the river, but... It is what it is. Now then, connected to this, I'm going to put, just flatten this land out a little bit in front of it. Now I've not tried this before, because I, I didn't actually get around to building this, I just got it, got it all placed. So truck aggregate unloading, I was to put two of these in here. Now that should give me an opportunity to get quite a lot unloaded at the same time. Because we're going to have a lot of quarries along here. So what I want to do is create a queuing area just in case there's a lot of trucks queued up at any one particular time. this before and it 
it all connects in a certain way like that. Um, this can be gravel. In fact, this can be dirt because there's nothing needs to come out here apart from. Let's get that. Because uh, I upgraded it, I didn't mean to. Right, let's get this out here and onto here. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, this is just going to be for fire engine access. Now then, we need access to this side of the road, river. We're going to need to be able to get the trucks over here, so... A nice big bridge. To there. Just double checking I'm not on auto build. <laughs> get some asphalt road going up there. connection coming off there, that's right. I know I'm not building to the wireframe but it doesn't matter because I'm not not gonna have any houses down here or anything. Something I didn't actually realise but Quarries will work without staff. I've always made sure there's staff in them. And I'm pretty sure they work faster with staff. But it's not necessary. They will they will just work without staff. As long as you've got machinery in there, obviously. Now then. I want to get as many of these in as I can. Because I want that turned a bit, it did. I want to get them all in line. Now these are a bit tricky to get the uh, road connections in because of the height of them. Fact. Just bulldoze that one. I'm going to try and level out the land in front of them a bit. Try leveling out land to them. I can get a road up there. Don't seem to be doing a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna struggle getting roads in here again. I did last time, I had a bit of a nightmare with it. Turn then, I saw it. Right, come on. <laughs> I don't think having them this close together will affect them. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. As long as you've, you've got access to gravel. Build that there. <coughs> Sorry, I was just double checking my microphone was on again. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. <laughs> I'm so annoyed with myself afterwards. I was like, I've just recorded near enough an entire episode. I was just about to sit back with a cup of coffee and watch them get on with the building. There. 
couple in here. Right. I'm going to go and... Oh, there's not that many left to do, actually. That's the main throng of it. I was going to say I'm going to go and get some more in, but I can... I might as well just get them in now. Yes, there are going to be a lot of gravel quarries here. I want a lot of gravel. <laughs> I want to start building the train lines. Let's get some up here as well. the fun part of trying to get the roads connected up. What I'm going to have to do is go and raise, and raise all the land in front of them a little bit. So we're going to run a road round the front of these, get them all connected up to the road and then have the road joining on to the main road. Also going to need some gas stations up here as well. Right, so... Let's try... Don't think that's going to connect. What do you do there? I'm just trying to average, average this out a bit. This is a tricky bit now. Try going from that side, no. Lifting that up a touch. Didn't mean to put that bit in there. Oh, I've got it, we've got to there, that'll do. Right, um. Do it in stages. Yep, right. Take it to about there and can come around there like that. Right. 
what's happened. These have stopped working. I don't think there's enough room for them to work, that's why. I'm going to have to move this road a bit. those. Right, let's get it, get it sort of leveled out to the road a bit. Now let's see if we can get them in. here for some time. Right, I'm going to get these in. I'll be back shortly. Whew, right. <laughs> um, I've got this side in. I had to ditch one of these up here because I just couldn't get it connected. Too much of a difference in the level. It was too high up there. Um, right, so we want some gas stations. Petrol stations. Here. I don't want it moving miles away. Right, so we want one here. I'll put it in between there. No, because it might end up being a bit of a queue with the uh, with the excavators. Oh, so I want there, there. Turn it slightly. Um, I'm just too mad really to ditch that one actually. In favour of one further up here, just in case they run out while they're up this end. I'm near the bridge. this if it gets too busy with the traffic we'll see <laughs> all right so there's one at that end and there's one here to service these and there's one here there's gonna be a lot of trucks going back and forward anyway but um, the excavators will need to come out and get fuel every now and again I just don't want millions of gas stations everywhere. Right, so is that hall hooked up? Well, obviously, apart from going that way. I don't want to do this end yet because 
I haven't figured out where the storage is going. I need to I need to get this area planned out and I don't just want to ram it in and then have to go and move it again later. I could probably get the conveyors in. Oh yeah. Getting roads up to them is gonna be a bit of a nightmare. And I want to redo this area as well. I want to get rid of most of these pumps. I'm just going to have a... Because I put that one up in there. Um, and get rid of all these pipes. Get rid of all these pumps. And then I'll reroute that one into that one. And then we'll just have two here. To fill in the other two up. They're always full anyway. I'm going to put a train loading in here. Uh yeah, I'm going to put an aggregate train load in and then get rid of most of them trucks. Just have the train taking it out instead. Uh, I'm not doing that just yet. We don't need gravel in any of these, so... The gravel can go past here. Possibly into a storage here. I need to figure out where the cement and everything's going. Oh, I'll tell you what I haven't done. Ew. Go on then, what haven't you done? <laughs> I haven't put a thinking engine transfer in here. Let's, um, let's get rid of that road. Gonna have to go right up close. Unless I bring it in. Oh, because it's got to get over that bit there. Just thinking if I raise the land up on this side. Like. Say about there. White. Try moving it back a little bit. See if that any uh, makes any difference. Oh, it's in. Lovely jubbly. Going down there, we need a bit of road. Somehow squeaking through here. We can get through that side. I wish I could see where these pillars were. Did I do the. I don't think I did on there. No, right. Get rid of this path. I'm gonna have to bring this road out this way. I was just wondering if I could get around that building there, but it's not gonna let me. Ideally, I would like to just bend the path out along the side. Maybe move that road a bit. <laughs> delete, rebuild, delete, rebuild, delete, rebuild. Right, so let's just have it curving a bit sooner.
It wouldn't let me bend straight out of the factory. I think there's a little bit of a building overhang on the end there. Right, so there's no reason why that shouldn't be in walking distance now. I need to get a, a dirt road out of here somewhere. Crossing that allowed. Crossing that allowed, just get me a bit of dirt road out of there, will you? <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> just so we can get in. Um, let's get them conveyors booked in. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Right. It's got gravel processing. I am going to put the storage in here. Let's get the... Let's get the train oil fuel loading and unloading. Isn't there a bigger one than that? Is that it? I thought there was a, a bigger train. Is it aggregate loading and unloading? Oh yeah, it's the aggregate that's massive. Oh, well in that case I might run the... we just move that over a bit. I'll move it to the back of there. I might run it out of there then. It does mean I'm going to have to smooth quite a bit of this area, but... Let's get large aggregate storage. Get the wireframe because we, we want it to on here. Right, and then we can pump it out this side. Um, I'm just thinking, because we need the steel mill up here, definitely. And that only requires coal. I don't want it too close to this, you see. Because it's going to need a lot of workers. There's a possibility I might end up putting it here, you know. Because then we can pump the coal directly from this. In fact, if I redo that, flatten that out, I can have the steel mill there. And I think that's a better idea. And we've got more workers because these are only going to be a combination of 55 workers per day. And then we can have the cement plant and the cement manufacturing down here then. But that is not for today. <laughs> but this levels out a bit. Move this terrain back a bit. I'm gonna have to rejig that a little bit. Well, quite a lot actually. Is that power cable running down there? Or is it just went a bit weird because of the back of the building? It's just going a bit weird because of the back of the building. Right, um Let's get a conveyor. Get it up on the hill. About... <laughs> That's going to be too far. But to tell you what I want to do... Right, let's try it back here so we've got a dirt road connection. I'm going to figure out what the um, what the maximum distance is on these by a square.
so I'll count the number of count the number of squares in between them. Right, where are we going? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm still a bit full of a cold. I think well, hay fever. I've got hay fever kicking in as well. That's definitely too far. Too long. Right. Let's get this one connected up. I'm probably going to have to revisit these. Well, I'm definitely going to have to revisit these at some point. Did you have a road connection? You did. Right, now the thing is, is to go and figure out where all the electric's going. <laughs> so you're definitely going to reach these. This one's probably not going to have an electrical connection. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go and do all the electric once it's built. Or is that a bad idea? This is going to have electric because there's a substation here. We need electric over this side as well. Um, In fact, if we was to run just to put a power transformer over here, we could actually run a high voltage cable across the river. Oh, I didn't connect them ones up. We should just put it here. How about here? Out. So I can get them run the cable down the back of that gas station. Nope, you didn't do that then. There, right. Take you as far as you'll go. Do that. Not buying it. It's expensive. Right, so we need some substations. I nearly said subways then. Um we need some substations on here. Need to oh, let me go and get that road. Oh, you're going to fight me now, aren't you? <laughs> yep. I have to sort of edge up the land around it a bit and get a decent spot where it'll flatten out from. Bend coming down that hill, please. Sometimes, if you just do it a little bit at a time, it'll just let you. Come on. This is the 
frustrating, but it's getting rules connected all really annoying. Really, really, really annoying. You know, I mentioned this and <laughs> I've got so I was talking on um Yeah, I was uh, talking on the stream with somebody the other day and saying I want the roads to be better and they were saying, well, it's it's realistic, but, you know, you don't want to make it too easy. And I was like, yeah, it wasn't really... not making it easier, really. I don't, but this is ridiculous for the roads. Why, you know, it's, it's just doing that much messing about trying to get the roads in place. I just wish the roads had smoothed themselves out a bit more, you know. I'm saying you can already make them steeper than natural, but you know, I, I know places where roads are plenty steeper than that. Anyway. Now then, did I put in. I didn't, did I? Put in the um, transformer. To make sure it's reaching that. to make sure it was reaching that uh, <coughs> storage yard. Sorry. I bet them didn't connect up the road bits, did they? That one did, this one didn't. That was nice and easy, thank you. Right. Get that booked in. A bit of electric. See the power connection. <coughs> <coughs> I do apologise, keep coughing like that. Um, I'm thinking do attack a splitter off here, but them are not. Or is that going to reach? I'm pretty sure that's going to reach that one. Right, we're on the 50 minute mark, roughly that. Leaves me 10 minutes to do the, um... God, it still took me 50 minutes to get all that in. That's even having done it once already. <laughs> um... Right, I'm gonna jump into a speed build, alright. Um... I'll let this get built and I shall be back... shortly. Well, in 10 minutes. <laughs> See you in a bit.
Right, so, um, I spent quite a lot of money then. Um, I did have a lot of vehicles to buy, I'll go and look at the finances in a minute. I was thinking, I, I did make a few alterations during that. Um, I recorded this last night, so I'm just reminding myself what I did. Um, yeah, storage yard to storage yard isn't working. So, at the moment I've got storage yard to loading bays and there's four trucks on here. I think they're just going for, he's probably just off for fuel, yeah he is. Um, so yeah, they, they, they're doing the job. Seem to be uh, seem to be providing quite a lot. I was thinking, rather than having two of these here, or maybe even leaving two of these here and just moving them over slightly, so I could move them over this way slightly. So I could run a another one down here and have a, another loading bay there if I need to, or maybe have it have it in the middle here somewhere um, and have the trucks coming down to it. That's if I that's if I need a lot more gravel that than I'm getting. Um, but at the moment we absolutely loaded up. But I've not got any industries really using it. So it is coming up here, and again I've got just a loading bay at the end, um, which is then loading up the gravel storage. So there's two trucks just going back and forward. Just picking up a load and dropping it in there. I've got it hooked up to the asphalt plant, so we're no longer buying it in there. That should save some money. Um, and I'm going to want the concrete plant, cement plant round here. What else takes gravel? Um, no, that's oil. So, cement prefabs, that's the one. The brick factory just wants coal. I've got loads of coal. And I've got the conveyor there ready to go. It's just getting the staff up to it, that's the only problem. And I want, I want to move this. I mentioned that earlier. Um, I want to move this up here somewhere. Just to get it a bit further away from town because of the pollution. I want to keep all my polluters like, right round the back. Um, so yeah, that's working anyway. That's that's doing the job. That's full. Everything's just full, <laughs> which is fine. I do want to go and get that coal all pretty soon. Yeah, so trees are growing down here. It's starting to take shape quite nicely. Loads of quarries and gravel mines. It's a pity we can't decorate this up and paint the textures and things. They've not got um, painted textures on the on the uh, route map thing. I don't think he's going to be doing them. There may be an issue with them or something. I don't know. But there are some exciting things coming: helicopters and planes and street trolleys. I think street trolleys are coming next actually and proper bus stops. So we can place bus stops on the side of the road instead of having to have stations everywhere. That'll be a major help because then can just put some big stations in here and there and then loads of little bus stops in between and run commuter services everywhere. Yeah so growing well. Oh yeah finances. This year so I spent 350 grand on vehicles, um, another 30 grand getting the roads done just to speed things up a bit because I was everything was wait <laughs> everything was just waiting for this little section of road to get done. And I was like, right, just go pay for it <laughs> and get all the other construction vehicles out. That's the only problem with building like here. Everything got snarled up just waiting for the road crews to get their jobs done. Because there was only a little section, there was only like two trucks coming out at a time. Um, so yeah, we we seventy eight grand down, but I've spent three hundred and fifty grand on vehicles, so um, that's two hundred and eighty grand profit without that. Um, resources again was 
Why have we spent 15 grand on fuel? Oh, that's this year. Yeah. Not this month we shouldn't have spent anything. We spent 1,900. And that's because these are all on auto purchase. I need to get a tanker down here. Start getting these filled up. I do need to go and play around with the routes a little bit actually because we've got another shopping centre here that needs... I don't think it's... Oh, I have. I did do that one. Yeah, I've done the shopping centre. That's fine. <laughs> I, couldn't, I forgot about that. Um, I do need to do these petrol stations though. I do need to get the get a tanker out to these, stop us buying fuel in. I do think there's another petrol station somewhere that's not covered. But for the life of me, I can't think where it is. Something else I need to do as well. I need to sort the electric out. <laughs> having disco lights at night time. For the electrics doing the hokey cokey around this area. Um, I did take out. Where was it? Yeah, those two were. That was split off this one. This one was. I put in the splitter and there was a spare connection there, so I took that out. Just because these are high consuming industries um, and there is another one over this side as well because this was this wasn't getting reached some of these engine transfers um, but I've got splitters in on this section and this goes out to the farm as well so when we get this agro farm moved in fact all of this is running off one one line which is why we're having electrical problems around here it's draining. It's just draining too much power. It's um, tripping these, or yeah, it's tripping the switches. I'm not doing that right now, though. <laughs> they can they can have the disco lights for a little while longer. Um, yeah, once I get all this area planned out and laid in properly, I'll get some proper lines coming down. Um, I've got the high power cable coming across here. Now this does only come out of the uh, power station, but the only time I need to import is when, for whatever reason, this stops working. It's this mainly, the coal oil plant. Um, it's only generally... See, once I've got my own coal oil coming in, what happens is if this runs out of coal oil, then everything stops. And this needs to be switched back on. You need to auto purchase some coal or to get it back up and running again. Um, but yeah, I think if I split that high power cable off, run it down here, and then we can have a have a transformer around maybe down here somewhere, which we can send out over that side, and then that relieves all that pressure off that cable then so um yeah it should stop the uh, stop the flashing hokey cokey of the lights right i'm gonna call it the end of the episode all right i'll uh, i'll be back really soon with another one thanks again for watching i'll see you then bye